So you're saying B? You were guaranteed a cheque for £32,000. I can now give you a cheque for £64,000. Oh, take a look at that. It's nice, isn't it? A cheque ready for you for £64,000. But we don't want to give you that. We could well give you a cheque. The next cheque is worth £125,000. Now, you are at this moment just four questions away from £1 million. Have a look at the next question. You don't have to play it, but it's worth £125,000 if you can give me the right answer. Which English city has a Catholic cathedral dedicated to St. Chad? Liverpool. Birmingham. Newcastle. Salford. You think it's B? Are you happy with that answer? Oh, you were doing so well. But now you've done even better. You've just won £125,000. Now, I can write you out a cheque at this moment for £125,000. Feast your eyes on that. But, we don't want to give you that. We'd like to give you the next one for £250,000. Take your time. This next question is worth a quarter of a million pounds. Here it comes. In the Dickens novel, where does Martin Chuzzlewit go to seek a better life? France, Australia, Ireland, America. You're going for D. You had £125,000 in your hand. You didn't have to play that last question. You could have walked away. You've now got a quarter of a million pounds. Right, here we go. This next question is worth five hundred thousand pounds half a million have a look this is question number 14 of 15 it's worth five hundred thousand pounds take as long as you need here it comes Lebanon achieved independence from which country in 1943 France Italy Israel, UK. Okay, you've chosen to phone a friend. Now let's call them up, but just remember you don't have to take their advice. Jane speaking. Hello, Jane. It's Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Chris Tarrant? Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, how wonderful. Your friend desperately needs your help. The question is worth £500,000. Serious test of friendship. 
It's half a million quid riding on your answer. Absolutely, Chris. I'll do my best. Right, Jane, here's the question plus four potential answers. We only want one of them. I remember going to Beirut in the 60s with my parents, and I remember they spoke French there, so I'm sure it must have been made independent from France. Jane, that's great. Thank you for helping us out. OK, well, Jane says A, but you don't have to go along with her suggestion. Take as long as you need at this moment. This is for half a million pounds. You've got £250,000 at this moment. You could play for £500,000, but a wrong answer would cost you £218,000. That's an awful lot of money to lose. So you think it's A? You've just risked an awful lot of money on one question. You had a quarter of a million pounds and you could have walked away. You've been very, very brave. Your reward is a cheque for 500,000 pounds. Half a million, well done. Well, you're doing brilliantly. Fantastic. Half a million pounds. Now, there's a cheque waiting here with your name on it for £500,000. But we don't want to give you that. We'd love to give you the next one, the big one. You are just one right answer away from a million pounds. Now, have a look at it. At this moment, you can leave here quite happily with £500,000. But the next question, the final question, is worth one million pounds. This is it. Primrose Day is the anniversary of which Prime Minister's death? William Gladstone. David Lloyd George. Ramsay MacDonald. Benjamin Disraeli. You're going for D. You have come so close to winning. You've come so far. Now you're even closer. You've done it. It's the correct answer. You are now a millionaire. You've won a million pounds. I can't believe it. Thanks a million. Here we go again with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? 